May 30th, 1949. Today's video was all about grandma. Love you, Lola. I'll see you down the line. Good morning, United States of America. I have a slight intuition that today is going to be a wonderful series of events. <laughs> what the fuck am I on? Alright, good morning, everyone. Born USA. I got a feeling that it's gonna be a wonderful. I'm speaking a little odd. I got the I got the whitening strips on. All right. So for today's agenda, we got work, of course, and then right after we have uh, we have a date with the gym. But yeah, we're doing pool day. Very excited. Honestly, I thought it was the last one to to post on Instagram. Nope. Jesse decided to post today. It's it's a blessing. Bless. It's a blessing nonetheless because uh, there's a couple more memories that I haven't really seen. You know what I mean? It makes me realize that I should start recording on my phone more. I know I record a lot on my vlog camera, but like, I, I should honestly start like just recording little clips from my phone and stuff just in case, you know, you never know. I'll try to do more of that for, for the next shoot. <coughs> it's, hard to, it's hard to sing with the strips, man. Leading you down into my cool Friend, I need you to know that Cause it's over now Oh yeah Number No one Answers till it's 2 o'clock Let me hear you say Oh Teeth is getting a lot better ladies and gentlemen Yeah Looking real good Okay so in honor of today's video uh, Actually let's get a little bit serious here really quickly Before we go So today is May 30th uh, 2024. It is a Thursday today, but that doesn't really matter too much. But today is actually my grandma's birthday. This poses a lot of significance for a lot of reasons. One, it's my grandma. It's hard to really tell here, but, uh, you kind of see. That's my grandma. And then that's little me right there from 2016. Leonisa, my grandma. Also, actually, one of the reasons, uh, this is just an excuse to take off my shirt. This is probably gonna be the thumbnail. I'm gonna try to make this a thumbnail, but 30th, 1949. Right now, she would be 75. It's been about six years since she passed away. I still miss her every day. For better context, if you guys wanna, uh, cause I actually vlogged that day. You guys can watch, um, To My Grandma video. It's on the Project PH series. Yeah, I kind of talk about, like, all about grandma and stuff because I went to the cemetery. Fun fact, today's video was actually supposed to start with me FaceTiming my aunt because they were gonna visit my grandma to the, you know, at the, at the cemetery. With all the time differences and stuff, the time that they were gonna go to the, the cemetery, it was gonna be 4 or 5 a.m. here. I'm not staying up that late or, you know, waking up that early. I'm sorry, but uh, everything that I do today, I'll dedicate it to her. What am I doing differently today? Not much, really. Uh, today's agenda, I'm just gonna be hitting pool day. Done with work early. Gonna head home now. Gonna be heading to the house. Gonna be heading to the house and I gotta order that CPU for the computer, so. I wanna be the one that makes your day. The one you think about as you lie away. Okay. For all those times you stood by me. For all the joy you brought to my life. For all the wrongs that you made right. You're the one who saw me through. Through it all. You were my. You saw the best there was. Me. My mama don't like you and she likes everyone Cause if you like the way you look that much Oh baby you should go and love yourself Lights go off, I'm home Whoa! Delilah, I just couldn't take anymore Gentlemen, my name is Paul Heyman. Let me tell you guys a couple of stories, I guess, while we're heading to the gym here. I don't know if I should leave this one for last or... Well, no, I'll, I'll start it off as, uh, this is the first one. Okay, so I'll give you, like, this quick little summary of it, and then we'll kind of get into it. My grandma was the one that gave me attachment issues. There we go. I was reading a book a couple of months ago, or... No, gosh, more than that now. A few months ago, called Attached. It's about attachment styles in uh, in, in relationships. And from what the book deduced, uh, I have an anxious attachment style. As you guys know, I, 
I, I suffer from anxiety and I, I, I have a lot of anxiety. It's, it's just true. It's a lot less now, but it's still there once in a while. One of the reasons why I think my attachment issues came about to be, came about, came, came. came one of the reasons why I have an attachment issue and on top of that, I have an anxious attachment style when it comes to, uh, I guess, relationships. Main point being, I have an attachment issue. That comes from my childhood. Growing up from like when I was like a complete newborn all the way to I think five, six or seven. My mom was working, okay? My mom was working. She was there, obviously. That This isn't a dunk to my mom at all, but a good amount of the time she would be in a, a different province, different province. She would be in Manila, right? And I know some of you guys know this, but uh, I'm from Davao City, uh, which is like complete other side of Manila. So while my mom's busy like with her work and stuff, most of the time when my mom wasn't around, it would be my grandma that would take care of me. It was like that for the first, like I said, first like five, six or seven years of my life. And that was at my first house that I lived in. After those years, we decided to move into an apartment because, uh, you know, just downsize a little bit. Me, my mom, my aunt lived in this apartment. Everyone else in the family lived in the old house. The house that you guys saw on Project PH, except it's not like the brick house. It's like a like a wood house or whatever. That turned me into a bad boy, you feel me? For the first like, year or something, I was horrible at listening to my mom because or my grandma, my grandma. And for this next part, this isn't like, you know, like this isn't snitching. This isn't, you know, this is just part of like Filipino culture. I was definitely hit because I was being a little shitty boy. <laughs> like I'm glad I was hit to be honest, because I wouldn't tolerate that either. Like I wouldn't listen to my mom, man, because like as simple as like, go take a bath or whatever. That's what my mom would be like. And I'd be like, no, and I'd get beat. And CPS, before you get your ants in a pants, chill out, shut the hell up. When I got beat, that was necessary. <laughs> you feel me? And going back to my main point i think that's really what caused my attachment issues was because of that like huge separation for a while and why am i telling you all this this really just shows the amount of love that i had for my grandma because i was crying when she wasn't there you know what i mean she babied me too much but yeah that's one of the stories i'll tell you guys a couple more but Oh man, don't get me sad, bro. A little backstory about this song before I get into it. I'm glad that I changed my uh, my outlook on this song because uh, prior to the whole model shoot and stuff, this song was attached to a completely different thing. Honestly, I'm glad that like I put this song into another thing. So like whenever I remember stuff, it's like a happy memory, not the old memory. So it makes it easier for me to listen to. You know what I mean? All that she really wants. Getting older, baby. I've been thinking about it lately Does it ever drive you crazy? Just how fast the night changes It will never change me and you Alright, turns out someone else is using the other stage I don't really want to talk over there, so we're gonna be using this one I'm actually gonna try to learn how to flex my back one day I just... I don't know I don't know how to do it. Successful pull day today. Side note, I don't know if whether or not I should cut my hair. My hair right now is at its perfect form. If I could just keep this hair forever, yeah, this would be solid. I don't know if I could find a better haircut right now. Like that hair is sick, bro. That hair is perfect. I'm gonna try to keep this hair as long as I can. Hopefully it's like decent length for when I have to do my next shoot. I'm gonna try to figure something out for it. All right, let's get it. Next part of this video, let's quickly talk about how, um, it's a little sad, but my grandma was actually supposed to be in the United States with me okay. for about two to, you know, maybe even longer than that. I don't know how long we were talking about it. We were thinking of filing paperwork for my grandma so that she's able to come to the United States because we figured like she's had a lot of years in the Philippines and her kids at the time were already like you know 30 plus and stuff so we figured that you know they're all adults they don't need the mom the reason why I mentioned her kids is because uh, well I say kids when they're complete adults right but the reason why I mentioned her children is because that's what really was holding her back from uh, coming to the United States was you know she was worried for them which I understand mother things maybe around 2019 2020 even we were planning on having her come to the United States where we were starting to get the paperwork done all that kind of stuff yeah 2018 she just passed it, it sucks because you know i was imagining a lot of stuff i was like you know what like i, I want to show her this i want to show her that i want to show her all the things in the united states that's like cool and i think she'll appreciate and unfortunately i can't get to do that and also one of the crazier things too is that little backstory my grandpa has a piece of land over at a different area of the Philippines. Uh, it's it's far enough so that we kind of have to fly for like an hour. 2018, we were getting ready to go to the Philippines. And at the same time, we also had some tickets 
booked to go to that piece of land and we were gonna visit it because you know 2018 it's been I think six years since my grandpa passed away we kind of have no use for it so we were planning on selling it and stuff and we're still on the process of that till this day you know what I mean? to kind of further the, the the selling process we were gonna plan to go to the land obviously I think it was me mom aunt a couple others and also my grandma the wildest thing about four days no 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 not even like two or three days prior to leaving and go into that area my grandma passed it's like whoa like did you not want to go <laughs> did you you could have just told us you didn't want to go grandma come on son unfortunate series of events unfortunate timing you know it's a sad memory but it's a very important memory in my life that uh, i got to experience i guess before we get into the the more the more nice topic i guess i wanted to kind of take you guys step by step experiencing what it was like the day of 2018 went to the philippines the first two weeks i was sleeping over at the at the house i was sleeping at the house every single day and then two weeks later my dad came along visited for his two weeks because i think he can only do two weeks at a time we were planning on you know flying back together and stuff my dad arrives everything nice at that time i was just kind of going back and forth from the house i was either sleeping at the 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 resort or i was sleeping at the house here's the horrible timing a day prior to my grandma passing my uncle actually had a bunch of like songs that he wanted to download on his phone yes I'm pirating my uncle had a list of songs that he wanted to download on his phone I know how to do that because that's literally how I put in the music that you guys are hearing uh, in the videos and stuff because of that at the time the house didn't have internet yet in order for me to download the music I had to go to the resort so I can you know use the Wi-Fi all that kind of jazz the night prior I visited the house for a little bit uh, grab some clothes say hi to the grandma you know say hi to say hi to the family just at that time my grandma was a week off of her i believe bronchitis medication she was a week done from her medications and it was a huge success that night that i had to go to the resort my grandma started feeling like some form of like pain right here in this area which at that time i didn't realize it was a sign of a heart attack because you know i, I didn't really have much knowledge into that kind of stuff we just kind of thought it was just a just a random illness that didn't really matter too much right i was just said you know you know rest easy just take it easy for a little bit and then you know uh well, i'll see you tomorrow grandma fast forward the next day 6 a.m in the morning in the resort me and the parents heard a knock a constant knock from my aunt saying that they took grandma to the hospital because she collapsed at that point i was I don't know. I was confused. I don't really handle stuff like that well to this day even like I don't really know how to handle like t Situations like that. I just kind of I just kind of think about it as like a oh, okay We got to do this do this do that. It's hard to explain but for our resort uh, We could call a taxi uh, from the front desk. So rush to the front desk ask them to call a taxi for us Got ready all that kind of stuff taxi arrives all right boss let's go straight to the hospital baby come on son book that shit you know as soon as we get there uh i still remember this vividly it was definitely one of the uh it's one of those things that just sticks to you forever walking into the er um i hear loud crying screaming and i didn't think much of it because i thought you know it's an er someone else might be having a tougher emergency to my disbelief i guess it was my aunt crying screaming and uh it's one of those things that like i said it's something that uh that, that will always stick with you forever hearing the loud yelling um indicated to me that it wasn't a good sign and also walking in there um my grandma's brother was uh by the entrance crying and um telling us to go in there and at that point logically speaking it wasn't good there was there was a section on the right side if i'm correct where uh they like kind of tarped it off and everything and there was a bed and my grandma was there lifeless i at the time i didn't think she was lifeless it was odd to say the least because as a young little 16 year old boy that's not something that you uh that's not something that you experience often um, at least for me. <laughs> it's hard to talk about it, man. I held her hand. She wasn't responding. I was told by my mom. My mom was by my side. And I think my dad was kind of outside. He doesn't take 
death too well, which I get it. I was told by my mom to try to wake her up. She believed that I was the I was the only one that could possibly do it. I didn't understand at the time, and uh, what I did is that you know, uh, try to wake her up. I said, please, please, please wake up, please, please. And um, like I said, there was there was just nothing. You know what I mean. One of the things that uh, stuck to me as well is that hearing my aunt saying. Mama, I'm what the patas Meaning, Mom, we still have to go to Bahal. Bahal is the place where we have the <coughs> we have the piece of land. <coughs> Excuse me. It was an eerie day. It didn't help that it was cloudy at that time. I was honestly a little angry, only solely to the fact that they billed us three thousand pesos, which is about seventy-five dollars here in the U.S. They billed us about that much for god knows what i don't know i was upset at the time because i mean there shouldn't be anyone to be upset at right it was just a bad situation so there was nothing no one to be upset at but at the time i was upset at the fact that we had to pay even though they didn't save my grandma right after that we went straight to Cebu pacific to cancel the bookings uh the flights or whatever i just i don't remember much of that day the only time the only thing i really remember going into uh my my grandma's room after the hospital and seeing my uncle um just kind of just kind of do this you know what i mean he's normally quiet anyway so you know hearing him even more quiet it's like oof. i think a lot of that day was just kind of us uh gathering up information um asking places like funeral homes that kind of stuff we just kind of like right away we started getting the process done but i guess i kind of tell you guys what happened before the knocking of the door basically my grandma was just feeding the chickens going to the uh, little tindahan a uh, little convenience store in the philippines and you know normal shit as, as soon as she sat down uh, on the bed she didn't sit down she just like that just collapsed on the bed and yeah at that point uh i think it was kind of you know that's where it just started you know she lifeless apparently when they got to the er she was already uh drooling out of the mouth and you know signs of no goodness you know what i mean uh signs of nothing good sorry to kill the vibe y'all my fault once we get home we'll talk about the whole uh, uh just just fun little experiences with my grandma because me and her were like this you know me, me and her were tight you feel me i was incredibly protective over her I, to tell you the least and i think nothing would change now <laughs> if she was still with us but all right let's uh let's do a little bit of singing this song goes so hard bro like this is kane's music it's fire the wonder of the world is gone, I know for sure Wonder that I won, I found in her And no flame returns One more table turn around and back again Finding I'm a lost and found when she's not around When she's not around It's so far. It's so hard to sing, but it's fire. If I can be close to you, I'll settle for the ghost of you. I miss you more than life. Hey, you already know what part I'm gonna sing. Come on, son. All right, there's one. Uh. Tonight the music seems so loud. I wish that we could lose this crowd. Maybe it's better this way. We heard each other with the things we want to say We could have been so good together We could have lived this dance forever Got no rhythm Leave it alone, son Come on Alright, ladies and gentlemen Let's talk about the last part here Um, why am I in the closet? I can't explain So let me tell you guys a couple of things, I guess One thing that kind of like still sticks with me was the time that I had a sleepover at the at the house uh, by the airport. It still sticks with me because it was kind of like my first time having a sleepover over there. It was during summertime. It was a whole week over there and we were just, it was, it was great. I think that was a couple years after moving to the apartment. So like that was my first time spending time with the grandparents, just hanging out with them. And I'd do anything to go back to that week, man. I was, you know, 
very simple lifestyle. I guess to kind of compare, um, this room is bigger than the whole house uh, at the time. I remember watching, because uh, at the time we had, uh, we decided to give, like, our big TV from the old, like, like my first house we decided to give that tv to the grandparents so they had the they had the big tv yeah i remember watching handy manny eating some tocino for breakfast it was a good it was a great time and as i mentioned the house or the hut i guess was smaller than like the room that i got right now honestly it didn't really matter to me you know just being able to be with my grandparents was enough it was amazing i was always very protective over my grandma one because she's my grandma obviously and two was because um, a long time ago, this was like way before my time, she got into an accident. It was a near-death experience. Luckily enough, it wasn't a death experience. It was, um, the only thing that really happened from it was, uh, did her left, her left leg, like, went completely stiff. Like, she can't bend, she couldn't bend her knee. Honestly, nowadays, if she was still with us, I would honestly pay for a surgery to get, to get that moving, you know what I mean? It, it could have been possible. She took care of me for my first decade, and for me, the way I wanted to repay that was to, you know, Take care of her and if she was still with us today i you know I'd, I'd, I'd keep the train going you know what i mean i'd be pretty much her bodyguard oh yeah for the hot dog stuff so like uh we have filipino hot dog for the longest time i thought this was like an original thing that my grandma did but you know what in my eyes it's original she would do that like that slice thing on the hot dog and i always i i still do that because it's you know it's the way my grandma did it and also a couple episodes ago i ate some mangoes and i sliced that in a checkered pattern that was also grandma. Even though she's not here, a lot of the stuff that I do is still, you know, is still from her. And I can't thank her enough for um, raising me. And of course, I have my mom to thank for raising me as well. But um, for the first few years in my life, um, I can't thank her enough for raising me and taking care of me while my mom was out there working and stuff. And of course, I love her so much that uh, my first ever tattoo was this. This is my first ever tattoo. I got this around March or something like that. It was almost like an impulse decision, but I've always wanted to do it. I remember like years ago, I went to the fair and I had like a henna tattoo. And there was like an orchid right here with, uh, of course, May 30th, 1949 right here. And I wanted to kind of do something similar to that, except with a real tattoo. So last year, I decided to go to the tattoo place. I, I told him, um, make me something related to this. I gave him like a picture and he's like, you know what would be cool as well? If you put May 30th, 1949 right here. It was a great idea. So I mentioned this before. Uh, this whole side right here is gonna be the grandma side, the orchid side, so anything orchid related will be placed right here. This is my mom's right here, but that'll be a topic for another day. For those of you wondering, that's my grandma's favorite flower, so I wanted to do something special and have her forever on my body, especially in my heart right here. I'm gonna have some protein shake now. I think I'm gonna end this video now, but I'm sorry if this video wasn't too interesting for you guys, but I just felt the need to, uh, share something that I really care about for you guys, so. So yeah, if it wasn't too interesting, sorry. Uh, tomorrow's video will be, uh, just the regularly scheduled programming. To end the video off, May 30th, 1949, today's video was all about grandma. I have nothing else to say, but, um, I love you, grandma. I love you, Lola. I'll see you down the line. Thanks so much for watching. Peace.